to my channel. So I have some motivation for you today. That is for sure. So this is going to be kind of what I shoot to do every single evening. It is not something that happens every single evening. That is for sure. I definitely want to say that up front. And also this was actually more like two days worth of mess. Um, the night before this one, I did not get this done. And so it was just a busy day. As you can see, I had groceries that were left in the living room that needed to be put away. And there's just, yeah, a pile, huge pile of dishes. And my husband was home the day, couple days before this. So we were using like coffee mugs and things like that, like crazy. And just, yeah, a lot to get uncovered. It wasn't just like one day's worth. So I do want to say that up front. And again, I don't get this done every single night. And sometimes this routine actually kind of happens more like nap time in the afternoon, like before we have dinner. Um, but this night it was after dinner time. And um, actually my in-laws had my girls for the evening. So it kind of gave me time to get a jump start. And as you watch this, you're gonna see the sun slowly going down. So before I get too far into this, I wanted to say about this vacuum cleaner because I get a lot of questions about the battery life. And as you just saw, I changed the battery and the battery in this lasts a good amount of time. I can get almost my whole house vacuumed um, with one battery and I just vacuumed the walkway I didn't really vacuum the entire living room and that's usually kind of my goal is just to hit the living room the dining room the kitchen and the bathroom areas and sometimes it's not even entirely perfect but at least if I get some of the mess cleaned up from the day's worth of people coming in and out and whatnot um, it at least gives me a jump start for the next day. So if you guys watch my videos a lot, you know that I love Method Anti-Back. Um, I use it pretty much everywhere. It's my go-to. I order it very often from Grove, which is where I get all of my cleaning products. And I love all three scents. I do get all three scents most times um, when I order just because it's nice to have a variety. And this area is definitely something that has to get hit every day, if not twice a day sometimes, just because I have three very little girls that make lots of crumbs and lots of mess. So this dresser I actually got at a garage sale for $5 like many, many years ago. It has been a changing table for me and has been obviously my coffee bar and it really holds a lot. And when you see me empty the dishwasher, you're going to see me walking that direction because um, I store like a lot of my cooking dishes and Tupperware containers and that kind of thing in that. So that's an idea for you guys. If you need extra storage, dressers honestly make great storage, especially if you can find one that the drawers slide in and out pretty easily. So obviously you can see I had a nice pile of dishes and I always like to tell you guys that our dishwasher is broken and I put that cup under there on purpose because um, my girls have climbed up on the lid so many times it's just slowly broken it down and so it will almost hit the floor if I open it all the way without the lid there but to be honest this dishwasher is amazing it has been so great definitely the best dishwasher I've ever used and it gets things really clean one thing that I do a lot in it is I put white vinegar in the rinse aid and I talked about that on my Instagram account not that long ago and I had a couple of you message me and were really surprised that that works and it does it actually gets my dishes really spotless and I don't know I think I actually maybe one of my cousins gave me that tip one time or something 
Um, and ever since then, I've been doing that. Sometimes I also splash a little bit in the bottom and um, it does a really great job at keeping it clean. And my dad is a construction worker and builds homes. And he even highly recommends that just because um, it helps to keep the pipes and everything cleaned out with grease and stuff that you know naturally builds up from your dishwasher. Because this was kind of like two days worth, my dishwasher got really full quickly and I had quite a pile of dishes to wash. So I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna get it all caught up and go ahead and hand wash a whole bunch of them. Even though it is my nemesis, I hate hand washing dishes. But if I have to do it to get caught up, I definitely will. Um, and sometimes I even just grab like a beach towel or a bath towel and throw it on my counter. I generally do not have a dish drainer and actually I think whenever we moved into this house I got rid of mine just because I feel like it's a temptation to leave it all drip dry and if I have it on towels like this I feel like I'm quicker to put it all away and kind of get it all cleaned up instead of just leaving it in the dish drainer. So I don't know it just might be a mind over matter thing for me but it definitely works. So um, another thing that I love using is this bottle brush for my blender. I know there's a lot of people that say to put the soap and the water in the blender and just turn it on, you know, and let it wash itself. But I just feel like it doesn't get all of the grime from underneath the blades very well. So that's why I like to use a bottle brush. And it's a little tip, again, if you guys have a blender that has the bottom in it that doesn't come out. A bottle brush really does a great job at cleaning it out. And the sun was slowly going down so I had to turn on the light switch and then I went through and washed our water bottles and Yetis and tumblers and all of that um, most of those I like to wash by hand especially like our Yetis or any type of the coffee mugs that have the stainless steel inside um, I just don't really like putting them into the dishwasher and I feel like they get marked up and kind of get a build up on them sometimes. I don't know, they just don't clean very well in the dishwasher. Plus I want them to last as long as possible. So I'll use my bottle brush for that. I wanted to chat with you guys about something that's been helping me stay a little bit more motivated. And I talked about it recently in one of my vlogs, but um, I thought I'd go ahead and talk about it a little bit here in this cleaning video. And that is making a list for the next day or even for your day, like in the morning. Um, waking up and just making yourself a little to-do list. I just feel like it helps me out so much and I actually have been using a specific calendar that I can write out a list for each day. I'll leave it linked below. It's um, only a few dollars. I believe it's like seven dollars on Amazon. Plus it's really cute and it helps me just kind of stay on track and write down like what I want to do the next day. What are my goals or Sometimes throughout the day, I'm like, oh, I really want to get, you know, so-and-so done the next day. So it helps me remember that and kind of helps to give a little bit of a brain dump. Sometimes when you're trying to remember everything, it just can be really overwhelming and stressful. And I think just writing everything down helps your brain to not have to keep track of so much. anybody else store their frying pans in the oven <laughs> that's something that my mom has always done and I guess I just inherited it from her plus to be honest this kitchen it has nice space like it's a large kitchen but the cabinets there's not a ton of cabinets as you can see like I don't have a ton of storage so it kind of gives me one more area to store something in my oven um, plus I, that is the only frying pan I have I'm a big minimalist when it comes to my kitchen and that big huge 9 by 13 frying pan is the only one I have and I love that because I tend to wash it 
more often because that's the only one that I have. And I actually have been having people ask about where I got that. And it's from a company called Princess House, which I don't believe I can link for you. But I found one on Amazon that's very similar. And I'll leave the link in the description box along with some other things that will be in this video. So now I'm obviously in the bathroom and I like to just get the countertop area cleaned off. You know, things picked up off of the floor, um, put in the hamper. I'm not like super particular, like I don't wash the mirror every night or anything like that, but at least washing up the counter um, and getting it kind of cleaned up for the next morning. If you guys are new to my channel, I hope that you hit the subscribe button and stick around and I will see you all in my next video.